I created an auto-generated forest map edge in Godot. I started by adding a 16 by 16 tile map layer node and used a dirt texture to make a simple rectangle. Next, I added a static body 2D and collider just after the start of the tile map layer to prevent the player from walking outside of the map. Since I'm creating a forest level, I decided to have a forest line representing the edge of the level while the player moves along the inner grassland. I started by creating four different tree sprites of varying shapes and sizes, and for the tree trunk, I decided to be lazy and just use two different sprites that from the top-down perspective kind of just look like a dead tree, and assigned it a random rotation degree on start. To dynamically place the trees, I used the used rec function of the tile map layer to get a width and height of the tile map. Then loop through the height of the used cells to generate a random amount of space between the trees to prevent it from looking too uniform. I also placed a tree in the first and last positions of the rows to avoid having any awkward gaps in the tree line. For each tree sprite, I added an area 2D that will gradually decrease the tree's alpha when a player walks under it. I lowered the opacity of the tree canopy lower than the tree trunk because I thought it provided more of a visual contrast. And this is what it looks like so far. Since there are still some areas where it looks like the player should be able to walk through, I'm considering adding some shrubs or vines to make it more obvious that the tree line isn't passable, but I didn't want to add too much clutter for the time being. I'm brand new to game development, so any feedback would be greatly appreciated.